What is up everyone? This is my second tutorial and I'm going to be showing you guys 10 easy text transition effects. So let's get started. So the first transition is this masking effect. So you're going to take your pen tool and mask out four dots and shape them to the first letter. And then you're going to go to masks and mask path. And then you're going to go several frames down and then adjust the dots to extend out. And then keep going several frames and adjust the dots again to get even more out, revealing the text and you keep doing that you can do it how many times as you want and as you can see you get this cool revealing effect now you can adjust the keyframes to make it look a little smoother but I kinda like the lagging effect now the second text effect is the pixel poly effect so you're gonna go to effects and then search up pixel poly so now you're going to adjust the start time to whenever you want your text to disappear. So as you can see it does this cool like disintegrating sort of effect. And yeah, I really like this one. Now the next effect is this 3D scale effect. So we're going to go to new camera and just keep the settings that it usually gives you. And then press OK. Now you're going to have to press that cube button so that it becomes a 3D layer and then you're gonna set a keyframe to the start of where you want it to disappear and then go a couple frames and then adjust the last position measure and adjust it so that it scales out just like this as you can see this is going from like negative 800 to a hundred. So the next effect is this dissolve effect. So you're gonna go to your effects and presets and search up dissolve. And then you're gonna press on the first block dissolve that pops up. And you should go to dissolve master control and we're gonna change the transition of this. Keep the keyframe clock on and start with zero and then go a couple frames down and then move it to a hundred. As you can see it does this cool glitching effect. And this next effect is positioning the letters so it does this cool little wave. So to do this you're gonna click the drop down bar and then press animate and then you're gonna keep your position and drag that number all the way down. And then you're gonna press start, go a couple frames down, and then go and press 100. Now this next text effect is gonna be about the same thing. So click the drop down and then press animate, rotation, move the rotation to 180, and then click that clock button, go a couple frames down, and then change that number to zero and then boom you got that rotation so this next effect is the jaws effect so we're gonna search up jaws and then we're gonna keyframe this to start at a hundred and then move a couple frames and then have it end at zero this next effect is one of my favorites um, we're gonna use the block dissolve so search up block dissolve and then we're gonna start with a hundred and then click that keyframe button go a couple frames down and then go to zero what you can also do is get that camera tracker that you used for that other text and we're gonna copy and paste that on and then click that toggle button tool and then you can see that it will scale up dissolve. For this next effect we're gonna use the Venetian blinds tool 
and let's search that up in the effects and drag that button to a hundred press the keyframe button and move a couple frames and then go to zero and now for our final effect we're going to use the emboss tool and we're gonna use the direction button to rotate it and so first move that relief number to 4.9 so you get this cool like fancy looking text now click that direction tool and then click the keyframe button move a couple frames down and then drag that line on the other side so it wrote it moves a little just like that so that's all for this tutorial thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed all the effects and I'll see you in my next video.